Hi, Copperheads fans. This is your first episode of Inside Pitch. I'm your host, Sarah Vallone, and I'm here with head coach of the Copperheads, Chris Moore. How are you doing? Doing well, thank you. Good. Um, talk a little bit about um, you're coming off of a championship run. You have your entire coaching staff back, but you don't have any players back. Well, you know, it's a little bit of a challenge. Summer ball is... Uh you know the rosters typically don't stay the same uh, uh, throughout the course of a year, let alone let alone from year to year. So, um, you know, we, we we just adjust the best we can. Obviously, last year we had we, we had a uh, we, we had a pretty special group, uh, talented kids and kids who wanted to play hard and, and, and uh, um, you know felt like success was something that uh, was important to them and, and it showed on the field. So, um, you know, having the same coaching staff back is is, is a blessing to me. Um, you know, I think a you know a, a person in my spot, a, a head coach is, is, is only is certainly only as good as the people who he has working for him um, and uh, you know coach Nichols so Jonathan Nichols who, who has been with the Copperheads for the last three this is his third year um, he's fantastic does a great job with the pitchers uh, you know we're adding we're adding uh, Rex Ingham on full-time this year he, he worked on the field last year so he was around the, uh, around the organization but uh, is, is a fantastic young coach and, and a former uh, a former Bobcat so uh, he's familiar with everything in Athens and, and then Bruce Blackburn coming back is it's a big deal simply because he has, uh, um, you know, his baseball knowledge is, is so great and, and is, a, is, a, is a fantastic guy for me to bounce ideas off of or, or complaints or, or, or anything like that. So um, certainly, certainly that's, a, that, that's a huge blessing and a help to me. Obviously, you don't have any players coming back. How do you think the season is going to come out? Not They don't know each other. They don't know you. Yeah, no, it's that, that's part of the... Um, and that's part of the process, part of the challenge that we have as you know, as an organization, as a, as a coaching staff, is bringing these guys together, uh, you know, as soon as we possibly can. Um, you know, we, we get uh, we get two practice dates, and uh, that's certainly not enough time. But uh, you know, we'll do the best we can. Um, uh, if if nothing else, baseball players are, um, you know, they're flexible in in, in, uh, in things that happen. Nothing nothing ever goes according to plan in, in baseball, and so. Um, you know, we'll just ask these guys to do the best they possibly can and put their best foot forward as, as often as possible. And eventually, you know, that stuff is going to work itself out. So as far as how we're going to do, I don't know. The the Great Lakes League is a lot better, I think, than it was last year. Uh, I think I think we're improved as well. But, the, you know, the, the, the league overall is is fantastic. Um, you know, we were kind of on the forefront of it last year. Um, uh, and I think we set, well, we, we set a little bit of a, um, you know, we, we set the bar high. And, and the rest of the coaches in the league are, are great competitors. And they, they do not want to keep coming in second place. So, um, yeah, as they put their teams together this year, they uh, a lot of those teams use the Copperheads as uh, you know, kind of as their yardstick. And, and so, um, you know, we're, we're certainly going to have to come out and be better than we were last year. And I think we have the personnel to do that, but we won't know until we see them. And so, um, you know, ho hopefully it goes well. But uh, uh, you know, we will definitely have a plan if it's if it's not going our way. Okay. Now, obviously, all the guys live in one house together. How do you think that helps with playing on the field? Oh, it's great. Those guys get to know each other. Um, uh, um, those guys get to know each other quickly. They get to know each other uh, um, you know, thoroughly. Uh, they, they know just about every single thing about each other. You know, but by the time they get done for playing with us here in Athens, uh, you know, I think those guys will walk away with, uh, you know, uh, guys that they can they, they can call friends for life. And, and so, uh, when, when you're able to have those. Uh, Shared experiences, living in a house, uh, going to games every day, uh, hanging out together, uh, you know, whatever else it is that, uh, you know, that college baseball players do in their off time, uh, uh, that, that bonds them, uh, that, that bonds them together. And it certainly is a benefit to us on the field because those guys, uh, th those guys are familiar with one each other and they want to, they want to compete and do well for one each other. So uh, that, that's a definite benefit of our, of our organization. And you mentioned your yardstick to the other team. These players don't know that. I mean, that's not something we'll talk about with them at all. You know, we, what, what we want them to do is we want them to go out and, and do the best they possibly can and, and not worry about what happened last year or, 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 or the year before that or, or any, anything else. We just want them to control what they can control um, and uh, you know trust the fact that uh, if they if they, uh, they put in the work and, and they, they do it well uh, with the ability that they have, they're going to have success. Um, uh, you know, regardless of what of what's happened before. So this, um, the the only thing that's the only thing that is, uh, uh, you know, the same as last year is the coaching staff. And frankly, that doesn't really much matter. When they start playing, we don't we don't really matter all that much. It's just the players. Uh, and so all I'm going to ask them to do is do their their very best and, and trust that's going to be good enough. All right. Well, thank you, coach. Very good. Thanks, sir.